In this video, I will show you how to create repeating item questions in Gavel. Here I am inside of a Gavel workflow, and I want to add a repeating item question. I can go here to add question, and I can choose a repeating item question type. The repeating item question must be on its own page, so it can't share a page with any other questions. And here I have the repeating item question. This will allow me to ask multiple questions that I can fill out multiple times depending on how many of something I have. I am going to ask questions about children, but I don't know how many children there will be. I can ask that question once and then keep repeating it if there are two or three or four or a hundred. This can be useful for children or properties or owners or anything where there can be one to many of something. So the first thing I will do is I will add an item name. This helps you identify the group of questions. Then I'll start uh, identifying my questions. So I want to ask the name of the child. And then I need to also create a variable for that. And maybe I want to know the child's date of birth. And I'll make sure that that's the right type of question. Date. And maybe I'll add one other question. Another one. And I'm going to show this question based on the answer to this previous one. So you can do logic with repeating items as well. All right, so now I've created these questions. I can also put any settings here so I could decide uh, the, the minimum or the maximum number of items that I want to collect. I could also ask an initial question. Okay, now I'm going to save. And I'll run the workflow. And this is what the repeating item question looks like. So I'm gonna put in the name. I'll choose their date of birth. Oh, I'm gonna choose A and then this other question follows up. And hey, I have another child, so I'm going to add the second one. Now I'm going to put that information in for this one. This is B. And then I have another one, so I'm going to add another one like that. And maybe that's it. That's I'm done. So I'll continue along. And at the end of a repeating item question, there's always a review page right here. So I can make any edits here and I can see all of my answers. If I wanted to make an edit, I could just click edit and it would take me back and I could go and change that answer. And then I can continue back to the review page. I'm going to go back to the repeating item settings to show you another way that you can set these up. So if I go to settings, I can also ask an initial question. This allows me to ask a question before I see the sub questions that are going to be asked. So let's see what this looks like. So when I have this repeating item question with an initial question, I see this. Do you have any children? And I'm going to say yes. And then I get the option to fill them out. Just like before. Now, one other thing, we can see that we have this selected here to collect items on a single page. We can also uncheck that. And this setting will ask if there are any other children after each time that I fill out one of the children. So instead of collecting them all on a single page, I'll see them on multiple pages. So let's see what that looks like. Do you have any children? Yes. And I'll fill it out. Now before you could see that there was an option here to add another. In this format, we don't, so we just click continue and I get asked any other children. This was a question that I wrote out and say I say yes. And it takes me here so I can fill out for the next child. And then it asks any other children and I can keep going. Let's say this is the last one. This time I'm gonna say no. And when I do that, then it takes me to the review page. 
So that was a little tutorial on how to use repeating item questions.